Hey everyone, so today I have this makeup look using some of the products that me now had sent me from my previous video. So this is the makeup look I came up with. So if you do want to see this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with foundation. So they did send me the blemish balm, uh, blemish balm cream. And this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. And I got it in the shade Pale Sand. They did send me in a lot of other colours as well, but the Pale Sand is the one that matches me the best. So it just come in like a squeezy tube like this. Obviously, I haven't used any of these yet, so this is like a first impression. I'm only going to use about that much because obviously I don't know how much you need. It does say that it helps instantly cover dark spots, discolorations, acne scars and pores, formulated with antioxidants and anti-irritants, reduces look of fine line and wrinkles, and you do get 38 millilitres, so it is a bit more than your average foundation because obviously foundations are normally around the 30 mil so you do get eight mil extra so yeah they did send me in the pale sand and the pale sand is the lightest shade and i'm just going to get my kabuki brush and just blend this all in So it is covering up my redness quite easily but I wouldn't say that it was a medium coverage, I would say that it was maybe a light to medium. It doesn't feel sticky, it feels like really light on the skin. I'm also going to be applying a bit more to my cheeks where I am still a bit red. That has covered really really nicely, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, it literally feels like you have like a moisturiser on. So maybe that is why they call it the Blemish Balm Cream. It does feel really, really soft. It says that its nutritious ingredients are soft and gentle to the skin, which it does. It doesn't feel tacky or anything. It just feels really, really smooth and just like a moisturiser would, which is really, really nice. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So that is a thumbs up from me. And I'm going to try the Me Now Smoothing Brighten Powder, which just looks like this. This is in the shade number one. I have used it in my last video. I do really like this. It's just like a really nice white powder. So I'm going to be packing this into the powder and just pack it on just to set the foundation. Again, this feels really, really silky and soft. It's really finely milled as well. So it's really, really gentle and softening on the skin. Then for eyebrows, I'm using the Me Now Two Colour Eyebrow. This is in the shade A, so it just comes with these two shades. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use the little brush it comes with. So I have just ordered a, so I have ordered a Anastasia uh, number 12 brush and it has come today. So I'm just going to be using this to fill in my brows. So I have just done like the one eyebrow, so I'm just going to jump straight off camera. So I'm going to jump off camera and do the other one because it does take quite a long time. But obviously, I have got a new uh, eyebrow routine. So if you do want to see it, then I will do one. Leave a comment below, and obviously, I will do an updated brow routine. So that is the brows on. I know they do look a bit extreme, but obviously, it is because I haven't got any other makeup on. So I'm just going to jump straight onto eyeshadow. So I haven't got an eyeshadow by them so I'm just going to have to use my own eyeshadow palette. So for eyeshadows I'm going to be using my Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. I'm just going to be taking the white shade first just to set the eyes. Just 
just so that if there's no crease in it and the eyeshadows blend good. Then I'm also taking the orange shade, which is this one, put it in my transition shade, as I normally do, because I do love a good orange transitional shade. The darker brown shade and pop this onto the outer V and through my crease. Just like so, and then I'm going to get the black shade at the end. Why I've gotten down there, it's not a black shade. I'm going to use this black shade at the top, and again, just pay, place it on the outer corner, make it a bit smoky. like so don't know why I'm singing but I am and then I'm just going to be getting a concealer again they didn't send me a concealer so I'm going to have to just choose my own concealer so I'm going to be cutting half of my crease The colours from the outer corner, I'm just going to use the same colours we used. So I'm sort of jump in with the orange and then the dark brown, and then just going back over it. And I'm going to be using the powder from earlier, which is this May Now Smoothing and Brightening Powder with a big fluffy brush, and just set the concealer just so that it stays in place, and then whatever else we stick onto it will obviously not move so I am just going to jump straight off camera to do the other eye and then I'll be right back then I do have two glitters so I have the MAC reflex blue which I got a sample of this is what it looks like it's just a white Glitter, but it does have it does reflect like a bluey purple colour. Then I also have the Mac Melon pigment. These are just little samples that I purchased from eBay, and they are obviously 100% genuine. So I'm not too sure whether I want to use the melon or the Mac Reflex Blue. Um, I think I will just use the Mac Reflex Blue though because this is quite a dramatic look. I don't really want to make my eyes look really closed by putting like a darker colour uh, where I have. Uh, cut the crease so I might just use the MAC reflex blue these are little four gram four grams so you don't really get much in there but they were about two pounds 85 so they weren't that expensive I'm gonna be using some eye lure uh, lash adhesive and just place this on my cr um to my eyelid and then just pack the glitter on top For eyeliner, I'm using my uh, Essence Liquid Ink uh, Matte Eyeliner and just do a wing, not a very thick wing, just 
a smallish wing. So for mascara, I'm using the Me Now Lash Dublin Mascara because this one is a thin wand and that's what I like for my lashes. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying this straight onto them. This does a really good job of lengthening them and separating them. Which is really what I look for in a mascara. I don't really like clumpy sort of mascaras. So for lashes, I've just bought some Girls With Attitude Fantasy Lashes in the style Princess. So I'm just going to pop these on and then I'll be right back to do the rest of the face. And then for underneath the lash line, I'm just going with the purple orange we used earlier and the brown. And just smoke out the lower lash line. And then using the MAC Melon Pigment, I'm just going to be placing this on the inner corners of the lower lash line. Just take it to about halfway. Then for mascara, I'm using the same one that we used for the top lashes earlier and just coat the bottom lashes. This mascara is so good. Then for contour, I'm using the Baham Mama Bronzer by The Balm with my Real Techniques contour brush. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my W7 Honolulu bronzer, which is a dupe for the Hula by Benefit. So I'm just going to be popping this on. to use the Primark Pure Glow because this is Amazeballs taking this shade which is Glimmer and Desert and just love it so so pigmented and it lasts all day as well so on the cupid's bow So I have got three lip options. So the first one is Teddy Bear, which is this really nice brown shade. I have Coral, which is like a red, and Cashmere, which is a nude. So obviously I would personally go for a nude colour with this makeup look, just so that the focus is still kept on the eyes. So I will apply the Cashmere one now.
so this one is cashmere these do dry down matte and they do smell really really nice I do have like a chocolatey sort of smell as well so this one is cashmere teddy bear which is a dark more purple colour So this one is a teddy bear and this is more of like an autumn berry sort of colour. The last shade is coral which is a red shade. So this is a coral shade, this is like a really bright pink tone sort of red and I absolutely love this colour normally, I don't tend to go for reds but I really really like this shade so I am just going to keep it on for now. So those are the three lip colours. So this is the finished makeup look, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a lovely day or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!